the spiritual community has found new ways to still come together and share their messages of faith including Jehovah's Witnesses. The pandemic pressing pause for in-person ministries, however, expanding it to more people virtually. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live from West El Paso with more. It's been over a year since local Jehovah's Witnesses were able to come by to neighborhood areas like these, knock on people's doors, and send their message of comfort and hope in person. Now they're managing by other ways, however, do say that there's been an increase of people during the last year who want to hear their message. Here in the borderland, we see that uh, there's an increase in, our, in the interest of people in our message. So that's wonderful. From going door to door to now making phone calls, writing personal letters, and holding virtual meetings. Jehovah's Witnesses across the country and in El Paso are still sending their message in a safe way. We put our Bible principles ahead of our personal preferences and, and that's really important to us because we have to actually live what we speak. <laughs> and so when we go to our neighbor's door and we say we do that because we love them, uh, we, we have stayed away from our neighbor, neighbor's door because we love them. During the last year, nearly 51,000 people in the U.S. were seeking a witness to reach them via the organization's website or through a local congregation. People are hungry to be connected with a spiritual community, and that's what we have seen. We've seen an increase to the attendance in our, me our virtual meetings. Uh, we even had a record attendance to our memorial uh, of Christ's death this past month, and we've seen uh, old congregants uh, they haven't been at our meetings for some time. They're coming back. The organization says the mission remains the same with the concentration of sending messages to loved ones about isolation, depression, and how to overcome pandemic fatigue. We're hoping to share that with as many people as possible, even though we can't see them personally. And the organization does hold virtual conventions and has also released 33 new language translations of the Bible on its website. Now, for a look at those resources, we'll have it available attached to this story on KTSM.com. Live in West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.